Have you ever wondered how to color correct just one particular area in your shot that is moving, like the face of some person? Well, you can find out how to do so in this free lesson from our premium course. Hey guys, welcome back to the last chapter of this course. And in this chapter, we're going to take a look at some of the more advanced things within the color correction process. And we're going to start with masking in this lesson. Now, first of all, what is masking? Well, I have a shot right here of Kim. And Kim, she is walking from one point to another. And I would actually like to do some color correction only on her face. So there are a couple of things that we must do. First of all, we must isolate her face, but also we must track her because she is moving. So let's take a look at how we can do that. First of all, we are going to duplicate this layer because if we are going to mask out her face, then we would only see her face and that would leave a black background. So therefore, we need to have a duplication of this layer. And the easiest way to do that is by holding down your Alt key on your keyboard and then drag your clip to channel number two, like that. And that will duplicate that exact same video clip. Now, with the top layer selected, we're going to head over to our effects controls and from here, open up the opacity tab. And already you have some tools of where you can make a mask with. And I'm going to select the normal pen tool. Now, first I'm going to zoom in a bit more on the character. So I'm going to set this to 100% here and locate Kim. There she is. And I'm going to take the pen tool, as I said before, and now I just draw a mask around her face. So start from somewhere here. You can do this pretty rough if you want to, because we're going to play with some feathering afterwards. Something like this. There we go. Now, if I would disable the layer below, you will see that everything is black. Let me just set this back to fit. You will see that now everything is black and, um, well, only her face is visible. So that's why we needed that second layer, that duplication without the mask, of course. Now, what we can do is we can make changes to this. For example, I'm just going to exaggerate so that you can see what is happening. I'm going to add lots of exposure to it. And already you can see that we are only now affecting her face. So that's great. Now, you might see these hard edges down below here. Let me just zoom back in. I'm going to do this more often, I think. Right here, you can see these hard edges. And we can somehow remove them by increasing the feather of the mask. So inside your effects controls, here's the mask, mask number one. We can increase the feather. And oops, by increasing that, you will see that that hard edge will be visible less. Now, also, we can play with the expansion. Maybe your mask was a bit too small. Then you can increase the expansion to make your mask bigger or make it smaller, as you can see what it's doing. All right, so we've got our mask. Now, let's take a look at what we would like to change. I'm going to reset this exposure here. So, first of all, we would like to pop out your face. And now, these are things that are being done a lot. The face is something that we look at. So the face is something that has to be sharp. So we're going to start by adding some sharpness to it. Increase the sharpness from the creative tab. Something like this, not too much because you don't want to see too much of a difference between our face and the rest of the video. So something around 30 looks pretty okay. Then head over to the basic correction and maybe your skin looks a bit too bluish. So we're going to add some more warmth into it. Just a tiny bit like that and maybe also increase the exposure but not too much make sure that it still looks natural tiny bit like that maybe decrease the highlights as you're getting a bit too much here on the right side and then increase some contrast this is something that you can play with but if we're going to take a look at the before and the after now you will see that it actually does a pretty good job her skin now looks a lot better and kim looks more alive but when I'm going to play this, you will see that the mask actually will stay at this point right here. I'm going to disable the first layer again. Now you can see what is happening. So everything starts at a, at a great point, but when she starts moving, she moves out of that mask. So we have to track that mask with her face. And that is pretty easy to do. I'm going to go back to fit mode right here. And from the mask up here, we've got the mask path. And from there, we can actually animate that mask or actually make it track. 
Now we've got several controls in here. This one right here will just play the uh, clip and it will automatically uh, track the mask with her face. But there are also some other controls. We can also reverse play. We don't have to uh, track the mask in a forward way. We can also do that backwards or we can also move one frame forward or go one frame backwards. Now, the reason we've got this one frame backwards and forwards is because sometimes your mask won't stick that well to a certain moving object. And then you wanna adjust the mask while you are doing the tracking. But in most cases, faces track pretty well. So let's just see how it goes. I'm going to select my mask so that I can see it right here. And now let's just press the play button. And as you can see, it's doing pretty well. One advice here, keep your mouse on the stop button, because if you see that the mask would go wild at a certain point, you can always press stop and then adjust the mask. So maybe grab it and position it to the correct place. For me, this was pretty okay. So I'm just going to leave it at where it was. And then you can continue. And as you can see right here, it's creating all these keyframes. It's animating that path until here. Now she's out of the image. Press OK and everything is done. And when I'm going to play this video right now, I'm going to shut off the layer below so that you can definitely see it. You will see that the mask is perfectly following her face. And when I'm going to enable that layer now again, you won't notice that we've actually done a color correction on her face, but she's actually looking a lot more natural. And this is how masking works and also how we can track that mask. This is something that is used pretty often to make some changes on a particular point. In the next lesson, we're going to continue with this where we are going to animate the colors instead of a mask. I'm also providing the clips and the project used in this video for free. You can find a download link in the description below. And if you're interested to learn the whole spectrum of color correction and grading in Premiere Pro, then I offer you a 50% off coupon because you're such an awesome person. More information in the card up there, in the annotation here on my left, or again in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and stay creative.